welcome to your week ahead reading and welcome back to my channel Wellington Witch. This is Lorian bringing you your weekly forecast and as you can see we have the three piles as usual. So we've got pile one, pile two and pile three. On pile one we have this lucky Chinese penny. On pile two we have a tree of life necklace and on pile three we have my favorite stone labradorite with that flash of the northern lights in there so as usual feel free to pause the video although i do have a 60 second meditation for you to choose if you haven't already and just a little bit of a shout out to everybody who has supported my channel asked for readings recently liked shared their stories in the comments below Thank you so much for supporting me. It really does make a difference to my life. You may not think it because I'm just a random reader on YouTube, um, but it really does make me feel like I'm reaching the right people. So thank you so much for showing your support for me and this channel. So without further ado, let's go into the reading and we're gonna start with the lucky penny just after the meditation. Hello beautifuls, so what I didn't mention before uh, actually was I am going to also go into some more depth with different decks as well. So I've got the um, Moonology cards here just to see if there's anything else that they want to set tail you. Um, but the Chinese Lucky Penny, maybe you're wanting to have some kind of look on the cards, maybe you're wanting to see that things are changing for you. Now we are currently in Mercury Retrograde. Hoorah! <laughs> every time it comes, every single time, every single year, it's like, oh, really again? Um, but it doesn't have to be a downward thing. So I feel like for you guys who may be watching this and thinking things seem like they're taking years and it's only days, this is just to keep you kind of meditative on your path and seeing if you're in the right direction here. So let's have a look and see what other cards have to say about anything. Oh, my favorite one, the Nine of Pentacles. Then we have the Ace of Wands, and then we have the Hanged Man. Okay. I mean, you're so lucky. I absolutely love the Nine of Pentacles. It is my favorite card out of this particular deck, especially because of what it looks like, um, but just in general anyway. So the Nine of Pentacles. Nines are mostly about things coming to fruition, and especially with this one, it seems to be giving a gratitude for luxury, Mercury is saying that you need to kind of take this time to blend. Maybe just to reconnect with what makes you happy, reconnect with what gives you that vibe of, oh, I can chill, I can really relax into myself. There's a feeling here as well that I think it's asking you to indulge a little bit, not overindulge, but just indulge a little bit in what you enjoy. So maybe a glass of cider or watching your favorite show or maybe reading a good book, as it does on that card, um, while you're out in the garden. Maybe not if it's completely frozen outside, um, but if you have a conservatory somewhere warm where you can see the outside, just do something that makes you feel like you're in control of that moment. Because if you're in control of that moment, it feels like you can center yourself. From this, then, you may get inspiration. I feel like with this one especially, there is a a need to create, there's a need here for you to have a spark of imagination. If the world is constantly busy, constantly moving, constantly turning, you wouldn't see the opportunities of creativity coming into you as readily as you will do in this next week. There's a solution to a problem that comes to you from relaxing. Now to some people, 
they'll be like, but I am relaxed. Well, you know, that's fine if you are relaxed. Um, but there just seems to be something that you need to kind of take down a little peg or two and just remove it a little bit and, you know, kind of get into a more of a flow with what is coming through. Maybe it's your chi here. Maybe there's some kind of um, medicine that you want to look up. Maybe there's sort of either a CBD oil or a particular flavor of tea, like lotus leaf tea or something like that, fennel tea. There's gonna be helpful for you in some way to help you rebalance. And we have the hanged man. Speaking of balance. So the hanged man is something that feels like letting go and just giving the suspension a time, a, a purpose actually. Giving the suspension a purpose. So if you feel like, oh, I've got a week off and I can you know, make myself happy or I can do this or do that, then definitely put the time into focusing on yourself and focusing on something that it is you want to do. Um, they're showing me some leaves. Maybe it's something just like coming back into bloom for the Northern Hemisphere. And in the Southern Hemisphere, if you're heading into autumn, it's a transitional phase. So it could be that you're actually in a transitional phase at this point in time. So what's the energy that you need to embrace and what is the energy that you need to avoid if possible? Ooh. Okay. So the light attributes are highlights your tendency to intimidate others and it helps you confront inner fears that bully you and the shadow attribute is conceals deep fears behind verbal or physical abuse now my loves i don't think that you are the bottom this is what you need to avoid you need to avoid harsh energy you need to avoid the negativity that can even come through on the news you know the news thinking oh this and that this is happening oh how terrible that is what you need to avoid and the bully here, the light tendency, means to me you can face anything that you need to head on here. So it would be the, you know, if you're afraid of moving forwards, if you're afraid of tackling a project, if you're afraid of telling somebody, you know, something that you've been putting off for a while, Mercury Retrograde is going to help you process how to do that. And I also feel like this is telling you that you're probably going to assist yourself in overcoming some inner fears. Maybe it's the fear of taking the time out taking time off will the world forget me will i lose the promotion if i take some time to myself will this person think that i'm lazy if i just take some time to myself to be honest you don't need to have that energy around you if they would um but it is a concern i understand that you don't want other people to see you a certain way now it's time for the moonology cards i'm going to shuffle off camera um simply because my tripod's in a very precarious position and I don't want anything to topple over. But rest assured, I am shuffling them. Oh, this one wanted to come through. Okay, so the answers you need are coming. Full moon in Gemini. This is the inspiration. This is the solution to something that you've wanted. Now, at the time of doing this, this is I'm doing this reading on the full moon in Pisces. Um, so it could be that you're actually gearing up for something later on this year around the full moon in Gemini. I don't know. I feel like there's something that they're not quite telling you. I feel like there's something that there isn't um, coming forwards as much for you. There feels a little bit like, okay, maybe, hmm. There's a lot of, di okay, there's a lot of people who are relying on you at this moment in time that I feel like they're kind of building up something and they're building up this pressure and this pressure, maybe not even knowing that they're doing that. So it could be that you feel like people are relying on you to achieve something and you're having to do it now and you have it and you can't see a way out at the moment because, you know, the answers aren't there. The answers are coming though, the answers are here and they are going to be developing for you. Now the new full moon in Gemini actually happens three months from now. Three or four months, I can't quite remember. <laughs> um, so it's going to be, what is it, March, April, May. I feel it's going to be May for the full moon in Gemini. Don't quote me on that because I don't have my calendar here. So if you're hoping for something in May, if you're hoping for results to come very soon, I feel like it could be around this time. Um, I also feel like if you, a lot of you have been searching your soul for something, there will be some, you know, an answer coming much sooner than that. But the Gemini 
feel, I think that you're going to have to balance yourself a little bit. Also, there's a great deal of blue on your advice cards. So this is definitely about communication, but not just communication with others, communication with yourself and how you're talking to yourself, how you're encouraging yourself or not in the way that you know this problem is giving answers to you or you know developing. Make sure that you're treating yourself with as much kindness as you maybe show others. Whew, that was a long message. <laughs> but I hope this helps you, my lovelies. Do let me know in the comments below, please do feel free to comment and you know ask any questions that you have as well if you want to get in contact with me for readings or just to follow me on instagram everything is down below in the description box but i wish you the very best of luck and i'll speak to you guys incredibly soon you won't even notice we're gone hey. in group two you would have chosen the tree of life here with the little chakra stones i'll put that there so let's see what's coming up for you Ooh. Okay, so you have this Page of Wands, the Six of Cups, and you also have the Six of Swords. So we're doing things on the up and up here. Let's have a look and see. Page six, six. It's astounding to me that you have two sixes here, actually. Um, yeah, it's quite interesting. Sorry, my cat decided to jerk the camera. Um, so the six is mainly about growth. Six is always there to expand. You may find that your focus is more on family. If, you if you're discovering like um, lots of repeated numbers recently, like 666, it doesn't mean the devil's on its way. It means expansion, it means growth. So there's something that I think is coming your way. It's giving you the sense to reflect on and then move. Now we are in Mercury retrograde, we this comes out often during Mercury retrograde. This is about reflecting on memories that maybe you thought were left behind. You know when you're going to sleep and you're thinking about suddenly in third grade that you borrowed a pencil and then forgot to give it back and you feel terribly guilty about that. You know, something like that that keeps coming up and you're like, oh, hold on. To a more serious degree, it could be that you're thinking about things you wish you'd have said, things that you wish that you'd have done before something happened. Um, it could be like the, you know, the things that you bringing up for you to let go of, bringing up for you to kind of push to one side because it's not healthy to hold on to things that you cannot change. And that's definitely a message that's coming on here. Don't feel like you have to hold on to the path that you're going on. Don't feel that like you have to hold on to anybody that is not willing to go with you on a forward moving path, on a high leading path. It could just be your energy feels really down and you're trying to figure out how to do that. Now the pages are normally about messages so you are going to get a message in regards to how to do this. Now this could be from your spirit guides but this is mainly about enthusiasm discovery. As you can see he's been going on this path here and then suddenly little kitty tempting him on another direction there will always be another direction that you can go and it may take you a while to figure it out because of this well I don't know because if I did this last time it would have been this or you know trying to put two and two together and coming up with six because sometimes that's what we do um but I honestly do feel there's a great deal of progress on its way here because you do have the Six of Swords. Now, this is not a nasty card. This is your rite of passage. This is you taking your experience and not turning it into baggage because you're not taking any of the negative feelings with it or the fear with it. What you're doing is taking the knowledge that the experiences gave you. So how strong you are, how purposeful you are, what is your right mode of movement? how you operate. Is it from a place of love or is it from a place of anxiety? Is it from a place of this? So it's you starting to understand the way and the method in which you're moving towards something positive, the way and how you want to incorporate your inner self with people. Ooh, so this is your another advice card here. Well, the first one. Alchemist. This is the energy that you should be embracing, and that is transformation of base motives and goals into golden wisdom, which is kind of what I said before. And then the shadow att attribute, which is what you should avoid, is the misuse of the power and knowledge that come through spiritual practice. What I was saying was understanding with the method in which you operate and then moving forwards based on that. So if you're operating based on 
fear, I wouldn't say continue on, but try and mutate your knowledge, mutate the experiences that you've had in order to turn it into something positive, if you can, because I know not everything is positive that we experience in life, but you can take what you need from it and ditch the rest as unnecessary. So I'm just going to do a card here. I have to shuffle off camera, I'm afraid, otherwise I don't want to wobble the camera too much. Okay. Let's see what we've got here. Oops, 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 oops. I think you've got two, but it's not. It's just very thick. Hold your vision. Fixed moon. So what this means is the fact that you are very much... I think you've very much got a goal and what this is saying is that you're absolutely right to have that goal. If you've been working and working and working on that goal, keep your vision there. You don't have to change the goal. The path towards it may change. So you may decide to approach it a different way. You may decide to approach it slightly via alternative methods than you would have before but it's not saying give up none of these are saying oh what you need to do is just forget that you know there's a transformation of your why you want to get there your goal what you want what your vision is and how your experiences are going to light the way to you to get there but also you could change the way you could get there thank you so much for being with me group two let me know in the comments below if this helped you and i look forward to speaking to you guys very soon all readings and information how to contact me is down below and i'm going to go on now to group three hi group three welcome so you would have chosen the brotherite which is the beautiful beautiful crystal Ooh, my candle seems to have just gone out um so you had two um energy advice cards so i'll get to those in a second but let's see what's coming up this week Ooh, queen of pentacles Seven of Swords and the High Priestess. Okay. Mm, let me see. A lot of this is to do, I think, with your mental ability this week. Um, not the fact that you're going to feel like you haven't got any, um, but there is something that you feel like something is missing or something is not quite right. And it's because this is in the middle. So you may be feeling so grounded and so practical with the queen of pentacles very down to earth uh, maybe there's something you want to do an improvement on either your house or monetary things maybe you want to balance some books or do something that's very practical but something is in the way here now this is kind of um this could be you pulling the wool over your own eyes not seeing the issues because you're so determined to get something done now that's what the Queen of Pentacles is, she's determined. But it could also be some people getting in the way of what you want to do. It could be people trying to sneak things or people trying to take something or block you from taking something yourself. Um, and I think that your achievements are also in question here. Um, it's something that just doesn't feel as correct, really. Um, I think there's a block between your grounding and also your psychic ability this week now this is what you need to work on it's not necessarily something that's going to continue on this week it may be just one day you experience it you're able to overcome it and that's fine but it's there to teach you that there's some kind of unconscious awareness maybe you're not paying attention to and that potential of you unraveling this mystery as to who's not quite right or something's not quite right in the area that you're in at the moment there's something something underneath here and it's kind of like you can feel a disturbance in the force <laughs> so it could be that you see feel weather before it happens or it could be that you feel events coming in before they happen or you can read people incredibly well and you say oh they're not very good news or there's something that oops sorry i just <laughs> knocked it a little bit um or there's something that you can see here because the queen of pentacles she's quite a grounded person like i say so it could be to do with a taurian a virgo a capricorn i do feel though that with this queen she's very much an influential person when it comes to the material it could be even your mother that you're dealing with this week and because you feel like oh this is a distraction or there's something that you're feeling quite torn by you just need to listen to your intuition and focus on that because there's something that you're going to see 
this week or you're going to feel something's coming up before it actually happens. So do keep your um, wits about you. So this is the energy that you either you should embrace and the energy that you should avoid. But you have two here. So let's just see. You have a mystic. Oh, she's very good with the high priestess and the warrior. So the light attribute of the mystic is revel sorry, in intimate union with the divine. And the warrior has strength, skill, discipline and toughness of will, which fix with that heroism stoicism and self-sacrifice in conquering the ego let me just move these because these are very good for these two here the shadow attribute that you need to remove yourself from here is delusional rapport with the divine and here it's trading ethical principles for victory at any cost indifference to the suffering inflicted upon others so i feel like um don't Go into battle with people who <laughs> who were just there to cause fuss and to go into battle pick your battles wisely i also feel that this could be this could be somebody who's trying to push you in a certain direction but this is definitely asking for you to do some very strong work with either your guides or whoever you speak to or just something around that um sort of effluent psychic ability that you inherently have I'm just going to shuffle these off camera um, because I don't want to knock it again. So let's see what advice is coming through for you. I feel like there's a kind of um, a war between... I'll put that there. There's a, a war between you, something um, that you want to do and something that you feel called to do. And I think that's maybe something that's happening for you this week um you want to get grounded and do something but then your intuition is telling you to do something else and it can be very discombobulating um when that happens it can be you going look i want to get more to grips with this and then you're kind of warring between yourself that could even be it somebody could literally be in the middle of that but i feel mostly that there's a, an inner war going on you want to be grounded and practical but you also want to divulge or into more esoteric things or in your intuition a bit more or you doubt your intuition that's something that you need to work on this week because you, neither of these are exclusive you know you can definitely have some very grounded um feelings here but you can also look into here and that i think will give you the solution as to what's going on and what's coming so your advice card oop, is a time for healing balsamic moon so this could literally be you actually healing the two sides of yourself there's a half of you that really wants to push and there's half of you that wants to kind of wait and see what happens maybe there's a different element going on that i can't pick up for you because it's obviously this is general and i don't know how many people are going to watch it and pick number three but there is a feeling i'm getting this half and half and you may feel split in two and what this is saying is just to kind of bridge that gap, heal that gap if you can. There's no kind of severance here. It's not like there's an earthquake and it's splitting open and you have to be on either side. You can just be very much in the middle. And I don't know whether you're the person who just takes the middle ground. It may be black and white with you. Um, not saying that it would be, but it just could be that you want some definitive boundaries here and they can't really find them because they are one and the same esoteric influence or spirituality influences your day-to-day -day, and your day-to-day -day will also influence your spirituality so they are yin and yang they are existing in complement of each other not to the detriment and i think that's kind of what you're wanting to try and discover this week hopefully <laughs> Let me know in the comments below how things go for you. I love hearing from you guys. And if you want to contact me anyway or on Instagram, etc. All the information is down below. But in the meantime, thank you so much for being here. And I'll speak to you guys very, very soon.